Hi guys, it's Fangirl Jenna. Joining me is Matt Copsey from Regional Radio Sports Network. Matt, give me a breakdown of the Mishawaka Portage game coming up. Well, you got two teams that basically last year went in different directions. Portage had kind of struggled last year, went three and seven, struggled offensively, whereas Mishawaka really put it together, played for a state championship last year, lost to Indianapolis Cathedral in the Class 4A state championship game. Both teams come back with a lot of promise for this year. Mishawaka has has some holes to fill. They graduated their uh, leading player, Sam Schrader, quarterback, three-year starter, uh, eight or eight player of the year, mental attitude board winner. Just, just a guy that they really relied a lot on. And Porch has some talent coming back. So I look for this to be kind of a game where both teams are kind of trying to figure out each other. What players should we be looking out for in this matchup? Well, for Mishwalk, you have running back Angelo Maltari who last year had a chance to play in the state championship game, scored a touchdown. He's going to be relied on to take a lot of the load on the offensive side. On the defensive side, you have Cameron Thomas, a linebacker, and Kyle Carlson, a defensive back. Both guys also played last year in the state championship game, so they're going to be counted on to kind of keep things going on the defensive side. For Portage, you have Gage Pearson, a quarterback, threw for over 1,000 yards last year, so he's kind of the guy that's going to be the glue that's going to keep Portage together. So Mishawaka played for the state final the, for the first time since 1974 last year. What has Bart Curtis done to make them play at such a high level? Well, I think the thing that Bart Curtis really has done has in, in given them the confidence level that they really needed. There were years where Mishawaka had good teams, but they really couldn't get over the hump in certain games. And I think when Bart came in there, he, had, he brought that attitude that, yes, we can. They had a stretch for almost 30 years where they didn't beat Penn. And when Bart came in there, said, why can't we? And he had a stretch where he got the job done. They won four straight times. He's won two, three sectional titles, and like we mentioned last year, played for a state championship. So I think the main thing that Bart Curtis has done is that he's brought that confidence level to the highest level, and that's why Mishawaka is one of the better teams, not only in the area, but in the state of Indiana as well. Thanks for joining us, and thank you, Matt Copsey from Regional Radio Sports Network. You can join him all season long on the Game of the Week on 957 The Fan. You can also join Matt and the Rags at Rocks here for the scoreboard show after the Friday night games on 95.7 The Fan and 95.3 MNC.